Good morning, y'all. We are literally going to be thrifting all day long, but thrifting specifically for mystery bundles. I made them available on my website, and we sold out in under 10 minutes, so thank you to everyone who purchased. But I looked through everyone's Depop likes and Pinterest boards, and we have a lot of fairy grunge pieces and just like very feminine summery items to look for. So I want to check out all my favorite thrift stores in Mid-City. Oh, and also pick up a few things for my next whatnot stream, but here is the outfit of the day. Hopefully, I don't destroy this shirt because it is so freaking hot out. But we've got a long day of thrifting ahead of us, so let's go to location number one. We are at stop number one. It is the Goodwill on 6th Street. Y'all know I love coming here for dead stock vintage. Arthur is also here with us. So let's see what they have. Crossing my fingers, it's good, but it's a Sunday, so I kind of feel like things might be a little pick through. And this location is kind of notorious for not really restocking throughout the day, so fingers crossed. We just walked in, and why do I kind of like this shirt? Wait, I love this. It's also kind of like sheer and see-through, and maybe with just like a black bra and a pleated denim skirt, this might be really good. This rack is just too good right now. I know it's way too hot for jackets right now, but look at this Rockwear one. It has this like patchwork denim look to it. Wait, I'm kind of in love with this. And look at the little frayed detailing. Only if those dickies are expensive. I don't even want to know how much this is. $15? Okay, I don't feel like that's too bad. But I don't know. Should we hold on to her? No, we'll stick to only summer items right now. Fair warning too, guys. This place does not have AC. So they only have this like singular industrial fan. And I swear to God, that does absolutely nothing it's still so hot in here but i'm in the shirt section now and there's this little like corporate office workplace top that i think is kind of cute especially with the little satin trimming but maybe we'll leave her for now one of our mystery bundles is wanting a lot of like feminine camisoles like this and i think this is really pretty i just don't like this brand in my bundles i do like to include a lot of like dead stock 90s and like authentic y2k this is just a little too modern so we're gonna leave her behind here's a usa tag that looks pretty interesting only how do we feel about these tops that have these front tie little crop tops and then an attached camisole or like an attached shirt underneath i honestly don't really like that i feel like i used to wear this style back when i was a preteen. so it just brings back like fashion faux pas that i used to wear but these sleeves are everything. Arthur just found a shirt and I think I absolutely love this. I don't know, I think this might be a modern brand, no? It is, we have that at Nordstrom. Yeah, I, I thought that looked familiar. We actually checked the sample in at Nordstrom, but Arthur thought it gave like major Renaissance vibes. Mm -hmm. And you know what, I actually love this. We also have a little bit of staining, but how much is she? She is $6.99. $6.99, that's not bad. bad. Yeah, yeah I think. Bad. I think I like her. But I just went through the skirts and shorts, didn't find a single thing. So we might be wrapping up here pretty quickly. Y'all, I'm already melting. It is so damn hot. Now we are headed to, I can't think. Salvation. The Salvation Army. Okay, see you guys there. You guys know the drill. We cannot film in there. Otherwise, they'll literally kick us out. So I'm gonna try to be sneaky. I feel like I used to come to Salvation Army for like really cool untouched Y2K gems. We always like to check it out just in case. And then afterwards, we're gonna get a little licuado. Nowadays, Salvation Army is a miss and they really don't care where they put that price tag. At least Goodwill tries to put it right at the seam. Salvation Army will put it literally anywhere on the garment, which usually leaves little pinholes around. And the clothes tend to be a little bit more dated and worn. So I really like this pleated skirt, but it was just super faded and had a lot of like pilling all over it then i found this tiger one which i really like the print because it was giving y2k but maybe just a little bit too modest this camisole i thought would have been perfect for those bundles that were looking for super femme summer pieces but i was surprised that it was even old navy and again this one had pilling all throughout and i was so surprised that the price for this one was so cheap it was only 2.99 so i was pretty tempted but again like i said i like to pick up authentic 90s y2k pieces and then at the end, I always go through this red bin to see what's tossed in there. But this time around, I had absolutely no luck. Nothing's really cute today.
we don't have an xbox console and arthur doesn't plan on ever getting one but like come on this is so freaking cute so if you need a pink little controller it's here for you and it's 7.99 is that a good price yeah that's all right okay cool my hair looks wild from this angle but y'all i kind of had a feeling salvation army was gonna suck and it did we're walking out with literally nothing but anytime we're in this area we always go to daisies so good I feel like such a hypocrite because during our last what not live stream I was giving such crap to banana Laffy Taffies and just like banana flavor in general but I could devour these banana liquados in a freaking heartbeat but if you want to go to Daisy's I'll leave their dress down below we're headed back to our car and Arthur found this place a and Z thrift store, so we'll see if they have anything good there. It doesn't really look like they have clothes, but Arthur's been on the hunt for VHS and TV, so we'll see what they have. I'm not much of a bag person, but this is freaking cute. I love the color and the oval buckle. I just, I rarely use handbags, and the one that I have right now is Arthur's, and I just kind of needed to hold my phone while I film, so someone needs to come and snag this for sure. I was gonna give every one of the mystery but no If you're big into gaming, Arthur says that a lot of the controllers are oof, not in Midian, sorry. Oh, okay. He said that a lot of the controllers were pretty decently priced at 15 bucks. But right now we're headed to our next Goodwill. It's my second favorite in Mid-City. It's located on Venice. Ever since they like reformatted the layout it's kind of been a bad thrift store but this is a location where i find a lot of fredericks of hollywood and dolls kill it doesn't look like there's too many people here but i see that leopard jacket i know it's too hot for jackets right now but it gives nana vibes so we'll go check it out tell me this isn't giving ultimate fairy grunge vibes this is so cool i'm not too crazy about the color but i love all the textures and the elements oh Let's see, how much is it? $7.99, that is so good. We're absolutely gonna take her. And I kind of just already see this. I kind of like this. Oh, I thought it was a cardigan. It looks like it's a sweater dress. What is up with me in sweaters right now? Uh-uh, way too hot. There's also this one here, but I'm not too crazy about the beading. It's like a little too heavy. Like, honestly, no. It just would weigh down a little too much. But I do really like this. I feel like this would be probably good for the fairy grunge bundle but we're gonna pass on that i see something with zippers i kind of am into this banana republic yeah it's a little too modest for me i feel like it's really long we have this pleated skirt and this construction is super thick and feels like awesome quality so two guesses either american apparel or forever 21 so let's see what it is oh wait where is it oh here it is it's American Apparel. Only this is an extra small. I think someone is an extra small. I'll hold on to her for now because I could never pass up on American Apparel. I know that it's a really controversial company, but their quality, I have to admit, is really good. If this didn't have stains, I would totally take this because look, a classic button up has a little floral embroidery with faux pearls. The five, I don't totally understand, but look at these puff sleeves and then it gets even better ah if i could okay hold on we're a little stuck no <laughs> guys look at these freaking bows and of course another stain you know i think i'm gonna take this for some inspo and do this for a thrift flip because that is just too good and i have a whole bunch of pink bows right now that I was using for my lingerie reworks. Why are the sweaters and jackets just so good today? Look at this. We have D knits, size medium, and then it has this little leopard trim collar and the buttons too. And it's actually not that thick because it's knit. And then this was that leopard jacket. Oh, this is so cute. Weatherproof, it's a size small. Let's see, 20 bucks. That's actually not that bad. I'm not much into vintage shoes, but there's just some that totally draw me in. Like these orange ones are super cute. Look at these red and black ones. Come on. 
and they still look like they're in pretty decent oh my goodness twenty dollars that seems like a lot of money okay i think i'll just show these off but there's absolutely no way i'm gonna be taking these home i just feel like it's so tricky and risky because you don't know if they're gonna fall apart when you wear them out i think i am in love this is circus themed it's underwater themed this is so freaking cool look at this and this is pretty big too. I've been meaning to thrift about like two more big pieces for my wall. I just, uh, do I even want to know the price? $14. I feel like that's totally doable. I think I'm going to take this. I told Arthur to meet me in a corner that's super quiet. He picked out a few items. So let's see if they're any good. Oh, you have a lot. Okay, let's see what you got. I can see where you were going with this, but I feel like this is given a little too granny. Then I got this, this Victoria, leopard one. Victoria's Secret set. Oh, that is hecka cute. Look at the bow and the little key. Yes, we love her. And you found a bustier, bustier or yeah. this corset. Wait, this is this so cute. What size um, is it? Cacique. 14-16. 14, 14-16. 14, I don't know if anyone is a 14-16, but this would be really good for a whatnot show. Yeah. Last one. Oh my god, yeah. that is so cute. I love yeah, this. It does have a little bit yellowing though. Like you can tell like the... Yeah, I think that's okay. Yellow. That's yeah. like totally fine. It's only five ninety nine. And then look at the faux pearl buttons. Oh my goodness, for five ninety nine. That is it. so good. I love that one. We hit the skirt jackpot at the other Goodwill. And right now we are at our last one. The Goodwill in Crenshaw. It's so funny too, because I go to different Goodwills depending on what I'm looking for. This Goodwill, I usually go to for vintage, and sometimes they have like a handful of good Y2K. So let's see what we can find. I also like that this location is usually pretty secluded, so I don't have to worry about feeling anxious when I film. So that's always a plus, especially if, you know, you don't like shopping with a lot of people. The sun is literally so blinding, but came across our first gem look at this oh such a good tag it's the brand have size medium made in usa on a paper tag yay this is so exciting okay and then we have a little vented sleeve lace-up detail it's pretty neutral contrast stitching yes 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 looks like they got a lot of dead stock in i actually really like this brand it's passport and it looks like this one is a medium even though i do like this brand i'm not liking this style or cut because it has an elasticized waist and i just don't think that's totally flattering on the body so if you like these there's a ton in different sizes but we're gonna pass on her today i also really love this location because this like three mirror situation so good for little outfit of the days so i know i showed it off earlier oh, hold on this bag is killing the vibe but this halter top i got from buy my ship please on whatnot guess how much it was only freaking ten dollars it was still brand new with tags and then i have this little fairy grunge skirt that's actually from my own inventory i had a whole bunch of them and this was the last one to sell that actually never sold so decided i was just gonna keep it for myself and then as always la moda boots oh look at how beautiful this slip dress is the tag is cut off but i'm pretty sure that's a vintage tag oh i think that might be like rave or like Rave City. The very top right there looks slightly familiar. And we do have a little bit of pilling, but I can easily remove that. And it's maxi length, it's sheer, and it has a little vent at the bottom. Oh my goodness, that is so good. I was trying not to pick up black, but come on. If it's a piece like this, we can't leave her behind. Also, let's just check this price. $8.99. I feel like that's pretty reasonable. The way Arthur is finding all the cute lingerie. Look at this slip with this bow and what is this? Like a Victorian charm? Yeah. And the brown and pink lace combo. That is so good. What brand is this anyways? It's blush. Blush. Oh my god, that's so cute. Yeah, this one definitely has to come home with us. Look at that red one. It's missing an embellishment, but I still think overall it's super, ooh, so blurry. It's still really cute. How much is it? This is $7.99. Ooh, I feel like that's kind of expensive. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, we're gonna leave her, but if you really like her, she'll be right here waiting for you. Y'all, I'm not even exaggerating, but it is so 
hot in here. Like I feel like I'm about to faint mm. and I'm just shopping and I can't handle this. I can't imagine what the workers are feeling. So Goodwill, you gotta do so much better than this. This has been like what, the fourth store? Mm -hmm. Fourth Goodwill we've gone into where it's scorching hot in here. We are back home now and we have a ton of cute clothes to go through. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much because I know this is a long one, but let's get started with our first piece, which is this bustier. It's actually gonna be available on Whatnot and if you haven't heard of Whatnot, they're a live stream auction app where you can buy and sell items. So instead of photo listings that we're used to seeing on Depop or eBay, Whatnot is made up of entirely interactive live stream videos. Even though my Whatnot live streams focus in Y2K women's clothing, you can find auctioneers selling jewelry, plushies, home decor, video games. There's even people on there who do live come thrift with me. And live streams also happen literally all day long. Like even today, I woke up at four o'clock in the morning to go pee and while I was on the toilet, I was like, okay, and let's see what's going on whatnot and there were a ton of live streams happening but I promise you there's never a shortage of streams going on. My next live stream is going to be on August 4th at 6 p.m. PST and it's going to focus in Y2K denim and lingerie but very last minute I decided I wanted to sprinkle in some shoes. So I'm giving up my iconic boots. They've just been sitting in my background. I don't wear them anymore. So I think it is time to find a new home for them. But we have those zebra ones. We have these pink fire flames. And my all time favorite, these denim ones. You can download the Whatnot app using the link down below in my description box. And it'll also give you $15 in shopping credit that you can either use in one of my live streams or someone else's in app. Don't forget to catch my live stream August 4th at 6 p.m. PST. But let's move on to our second item, which is this one here. It just screams Y2K. And what makes it even better is that paper tag that says made in USA. If you know, you know, these paper tags are just superior. And okay, I know that baby fat is a Y2K brand, but growing up, I never had baby fat. And to be honest, I don't think I really ever liked the style of their pieces. But look at this one. You can't go wrong with the halter neck. And I know camel, camel, camo. And then I also love how we have little embellishments around the neckline, but I feel like, yes, it's a simple piece, but at the same time, there's so much going on. Here is that Ed Hardy inspired t-shirt that I came across. And it's so funny because this is just like stupid long. Like it's obviously not a dress, but too long to be a shirt. And I feel like this is the exact thing I wore when I was a preteen, especially when I was really into my layering phase. So it was wearing something long like this with two tank tops underneath. Let's show some love to Arthur's pick, which is this one here. To me, it's either giving boho or renaissance. So if you plan to go to the Ren Fair next year, this is perfect for you. All you're missing is like a cropped corset to push the girls up and a maxi skirt. Let's talk lingerie now. So I did end up getting that maxi slip and this one's probably gonna stay with me just because it is so damaged. But I tried it on already and the straps are too long. So I'll probably just alter it to fit my bust a little bit better. But this totally reminded me of that like viral black sheer paneled slip that was all over social media like maybe two years ago. So this is probably a piece that I'm gonna take to Paris when I'm visiting my sister. Also, would y'all be interested in like a Paris outfit of the weeks video? Or do you just like absolutely not care? I'm okay if you don't care, but just let me know down below in the comments. Another piece that Arthur found is this slip here. I mainly just got it for this color combo and the cute little pendant that's hanging from the bust. And I've also never seen a slip that has these like scrunchy shoulder straps. So I thought it was different. I feel with this one, you'll either love it or hate it, but I kind of love how grainy it is and it's just super haunting. Yes, I would like it to be a little bit shorter, but I already have so many ideas of putting graphics all over it just to make it a little bit more modern and wearable. I only picked up one pair of pants and do I even need to say anything? Come on. And this is a brand Rampage. They're a size either a size six or a size nine, but they are so good. And it comes out into a flare, has this all over stripe print. We have the button flap pockets on the front and a really good booty moment in the back. I had the most luck in the skirt section today. So let's start off with minis. We have this one here. I'm not too crazy about the elasticized waist, but the tag says made in USA and it comes with a belt. So we got a free belt with it. 
And I do really like this color combo and the argyle print. I think she'll be really cute for someone. And then doing something a little bit more darker and longer, we have this knee length skirt, another elasticized waist, but this one makes sense because it's from the 90s. It's very spandexy, has this all over floral print and a super feminine ruffle hem. Now time for the grails of this haul. I love them all equally, but they all have pretty different vibes. So we have this black maxi, has this huge vent in the front. It's L-E-I with tags still attached. This, I think this is wild. It's so cool. I know it's a little bit more on the basic side, but you can just add a statement top and you're good to go. This is the ultimate fairy grunge skirt. And I just love how there's so much going on with the patchworks, the textural differences, but it's very well balanced and it works out because it's fairly neutral. Our last skirt is this one here. I was so surprised that it was still at the thrift. It's just so unique and cool and I wish I could give you more info about this, but there's absolutely no brand tag or size tag. It is a little damaged though. We have a little stain on this square here, but it's all right because the fact that it's so cool makes up for it. That pretty much does it for thrift hopping around Los Angeles. I feel like I gave you just a glimpse of how much work Work and effort and commuting goes into fulfilling these mystery bundles. But the Let Me Style You video should be going up probably next week. So just make sure you're subscribed and you hit that bell icon so you're notified when it goes live. Also, don't forget to bookmark my next WhatNot live stream. It's gonna be August 4th at 6 p.m. PST. I have a link down below where you can get $15 in shopping credit when you download the app. But as always, y'all, I do post videos at least once a week. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!